For people receiving care at the Shaw Cancer Center, Jack's Place is a cancer caring house. And here to tell us about the hike, wine and dine to benefit Jack's Place is Kevin Armitage. Good yeah. morning, Kevin. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks Appreciate for it. coming on to yeah. tell us a little bit more about Jack's Place. Sure. Yeah, we are so fortunate here in Eagle County that we have such a robust cancer center like we do at the Shaw Cancer Center. And Jack's Place is a facility that allows patients receiving care at the Shaw Cancer Center a free place to stay while they're receiving that care. So whether they're uh, second home homeowners here in Eagle County, permanent residents here in Eagle County, or coming from the Steamboat area or Aspen area, gives them a place to stay, have that quiet respite, quiet, quiet place of comfort while they're receiving that care. Right, and so they don't have to travel around. Um, they're just right there next to the care facility, which also has to kind of give them some peace of mind. You oh, know. it does, yeah. It allows the patients really just to focus on the most important thing, and that's getting better in their health. Get you know everything else off their plate and just focus on getting better. What a great asset. And how long has Jack's Place been around? You know, this is actually the 10th year of Jack's Place, so a real milestone you know, for us and for the facility, um, which, you know, it's an exciting event every year with the Hike, Wine, and Dine to support Jack's Place, but this being the 10th year just kind of ramps it up a little bit higher. And about how many people can stay at Jack's Place at any given you know, time? We've got 12 rooms okay. at Jack's Place. Um, and you know, just depending on the time of the year and the number of patients we have, sometimes it's full, sometimes there's oh, rooms it's, available. Oh, it's beautiful. It looks so comfortable. Oh, it is. You know, the, the, the design of the building, the layout of the building is all geared towards the patients and their comfort and again, just to focus on their health and getting better and leave every other care behind. So you guys have had this hike, wine, and dine now for many years to benefit yeah. Jack's Place. Right, exactly. Yeah, this is our ninth year of the hike, wine, and dine. And, and obviously with Jack's Place being free for the patients staying there, there's cost to operate the facility. Yes. Uh, so the hike, wine, and dine goes a long way to covering some of those operating costs to allow it to remain a free facility. And when does this take place and where is it at? So this is Sunday, September the 19th at the base of Beaver Creek. Okay. Uh, registration begins at 9.30, and then the hike will begin around 10 o'clock or okay. so. Okay. Yeah. And if someone is interested in participating, how do they get tickets to this? Yeah. Easiest way is to go to hikewinedine.com. Uh, the tickets are $100 for adults, $50 for teens, and then children are free. And it is a wonderful family event. My kids love it. Oh, so year. I was wondering, you know, yeah. you, so you encourage people to bring their kids along oh, yeah. on this hike. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a pretty moderate hike. The hike itself is around five miles. But then interspersed in the hike, there's usually around five stops or so with Beaver Creek's best restaurants serving you up some great food. So it breaks it up nicely, keeps the kids engaged with some nice little treats along the way. Absolutely. What an amazing event. So yeah. you, don't, uh, you don't necessarily have to wait until the end of the, the fifth mile to get your reward. You get no. little things to keep you encouraged yeah. all along the way. Yeah, that, that proverbial carrot that is you know, dangling in front of you every half mile or three quarters mile. That, you know, whether it be some fried chicken or whatever it is along the way. Um, so yeah, very, very nice family-friendly hike. And so you have restaurants like Splendido and Ramini all participating in this. Yeah, we do. Um, I think we've got 10 uh, restaurants participating this year, starting off at the base before we start hiking, get some breakfast burritos, maybe a mimosa before you go, make your way through and um, get rewarded with the great food throughout the way and then some dessert when you get back down to the bottom. Well, Kevin, thank you so much. That's oh, a great pleasure. event yeah. for a great cause. Thank you. That's Hike Wine and Dine, and you can find them at hikewineanddine.com to get your tickets. Well, coming up next, Megan has your full weather forecast, so stay tuned.